YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. And that's right, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. I have a backpack sitting in front of me, rather a mini backpack. I want to talk about different things on the channel, and this is completely in my wheelhouse, out of my realm of expertise, and I hope you can join me on this journey to talk about things that would be like this, rather backpacks for a company called Loungefly. If you're not familiar with Loungefly, they're a company that was established back in 1998, and they specialize in what they call wearables. Wearables would be a definition I would describe as backpacks, mini backpacks, crossbody bags, purses, wristlets, wallets, and of course fanny packs. That's what their specialty is, wearables. They were then purchased in 2017 by, of course, Funko. Funko has a massive card catalog of IPs and properties that Loungefly can tap into to make all sorts of stuff. They make properties from Star Wars, Disney, DC, Marvel, Harry Potter, you name it. If you like a particular IP or genre, Loungefly makes a bag for it. Now, that out of the way, let's talk about this bag right here, what's called the Iron Man Pop Backpack. This is rather a mini backpack. Price point normally goes about $60 to $80 US. I got mine on Amazon for about $40 US, and let's break Break down this bag because a lot to talk about with this bag. It's really, really cool. You can hear it in my voice. Again, I don't talk about things like this. It's brand new for me. If you want to see more content like this, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments because I want to talk more about lounge like because it's really, really cool stuff. Let's get into it now. This bag that you see here is what they call faux leather. It is, has a shiny metallic look. You can see it bouncing off the color from my lights. It looks really, really cool. This has a central bag. You can see the zipper here. And in the front here has a small little pouch. These mini bags Backpacks most of the time, most of the time, would be in this configuration. You'll have the central bag itself and probably a smaller pouch in the front with a different design or deco. That's what most Loungefly bags are all about. So let's talk about first the Loungefly symbol here, which is on this side. Most Loungefly bags have a little placard. They'll look similar to this. This happens to be the pop style bag because it looks like a Funko Pop mask for Iron Man. The placard itself would say Loungefly on the bottom of the words or whatever line it's under, or it would be in the front. So most times either in the front of the bag or on the side of the bag, at least from what I've seen. Let's break down some of the functionalities for this bag. Again, uh, one thing about Loungefly, they have some really cool deco on the pulse tabs here for the zippers. It's a very sturdy, solid bag. When you open up the central portion of this bag, you'll see a lot of packaging. You pull the packaging out, of course. And inside, you'll see uh, this has an insert of, let's say, Marvel bobblehead, or be a pop for Iron Man, rather, and a Marvel logo. But this bag is really different because they have a insert uh, zipper that you can put stuff inside here. Most of Loungefly bags that I've seen don't have that inside pocket that you can use for other stuff, uh, that, which is really, really neat. Let's look now at the bottom portion here. You have another zipper pop, uh, pop pocket rather. Again, it has the Loungefly zipper here. You open it up here, nice storage. Again, same sort of uh, inside deco. It would be the bobblehead and this is say Marvel. I'll spin around so you can see it this way. There is two gimmicks with this bag, which we'll talk about momentarily here. Put it back up. If you spin it to the back of the bag, the back of the bag, most of the time these bags from other companies, or rather you would see it's Disney or Star Wars, they might have a print or some type of thing stamped on it. This one does have something stamped on it. It's hard to notice, but it says right down here, it says I am Iron Man down here. You'll see bags that might have nothing here. Uh, this one that has a little print right there. Sometimes you'll see something, sometimes you won't. This bag does have nice leather straps here that you can adjust them. There are little buckles here. You can adjust the straps themselves and they're very sturdy, all made out of leather. It will hold in place. It's really, really strong and rugged. Uh, we'll showcase off the tag so you can see what the tag would look like. You have Marvel here. Uh, that would be the little UPC code or pricing. And of course, you have the gimmick that talks about what this bag is all about, which will showcase the gimmicks right now. There are two gimmicks with this bag. First things first, you notice it, like, it looks like a pop. It looks like a pop that you would see for Iron Man. The mask here for Iron Man goes up to reveal Tony Stark. You can see him right there peeking out. And there are tracks that are on the inside of this bag. Let me spin around to the front so you can see it. It might be hard to notice, but there are two tracks, two little buttons, might be hard to notice, that make this slide up and down. You can pin it in the position to leave it permanently locked up. I think it's better leaving it down. I think it looks cool that way. Uh, that's one of the big gimmicks for this bag. The second gimmick is a light up gimmick. Inside the little pouch here, you notice this little circle. That's the arc reactor. If we open up the bag here, and you'll see a little pull tab on the inside, you pop that in, and it will physically light up. Um, I will kill the lights in a second so you can see what it looks like. 
And that's kind of what it looks like with the lights dimmed in my studio. It's not the greatest light as far as LED goes, but it's okay. It gets the job done. It looks like a glowing LED light for the arc reactor, which looks pretty cool to me. And what I'll do is also I'll put a B-roll shot of it in complete darkness so you can see what it really looks like. Because having it low lit doesn't really give it justice. You'll see what I mean in B-roll shortly. So what do I really think about this bag? It's a really cool bag. Price point was dead on the money. I got again for $40 US. It's a really cool bag. Uh, it's very, very neat as far as the design and deco. It does have that shiny glimmer effect, which I think is really, really cool. The strong, again, strong backpack, you can adjust these uh, straps, which feels very, very comfortable. Wearing this bag around, I don't think it'd be a huge amount of weight on the shoulder. My wife has a similar mini backpack that she picked up, which started her big addiction on the lounge fly, and she loves these mini backpacks. So I hope you like this sort of review of the Funko Pop Iron Man backpack, rather mini backpack. Remember to click the like button on the page, click that all important subscribe button. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, you know, for latest videos. Of course, last but not least, click the windows here and here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video, and bye-bye.